today, we will see some misconceptions related to integers. Misconception 1 One day, the teacher wrote a few numbers on the blackboard and the students were asked to list down the integers. Sheetal, Nitin and Nishant gave the following answers. Who is correct in your opinion? Many times, only the negative numbers are considered as integers. With this understanding, Sheetal answered minus 6 and minus 7. This is wrong. Hence, option 1 is the wrong answer. The correct understanding is that collection of all negative numbers, all positive numbers and 0 are called integers. The positive numbers are usually expressed without a plus sign. With this correct understanding, Nitin has given the right answer, that is, option 2 is the correct answer. Many times, 0 is not considered an integer. Nishant has ignored this here. Yes, it is true that no sign is associated with it. But it is important to understand that 0 is also an integer, that is, Nishant's answer is also wrong. So, option 3 is not the answer. Misconception 2 Rahul and Meena had to express minus 7 on the number line. For this, they drew a number line as follows. Can you tell me who correctly expressed minus 7 on the number line? Many times, children know that the positive integers on the number line are expressed to the right of 0 and negative integers to the left. But mistakes are made while finding the position of the number. For example, to express minus 7, Rahul assumed 0 to be the first position, then the point to the left of that, the second position, and so on till the seventh position. And thus, he's expressed minus 7 in the wrong place. That is, Rahul is wrong. To express minus 7, it is correct to leave the point for 0 and count from the point after it. That is, Meena has given the correct answer, which is option 2. Misconception 3 there are some black buttons here. If the value of one black button is minus one, then tell me which group has the largest value. Here, we do not have to compare objects. We have to find the values of both A and B groups and compare them. At times, just by counting the number of objects in each group, we assume group A has a larger value and choose option one, which is wrong. Since group A has 8 black buttons and each has a value of minus 1, the value of group A is minus 8. Similarly, group B has 5 black buttons and each has a value of minus 1, so the value of group B is minus 5. To find out which group has a larger value, we need to compare the values of these two groups. Let's compare these on the number line. Minus 8 will be expressed at a distance of 8 steps to the left of 0 on the number line. And similarly, minus 5 will be expressed at a distance of 5 steps to the left of 0 on the number line. As you can see, minus 5 is to the right of minus 8. As the value of the numbers on the right on the number line increases, so minus 5 is greater than minus 8. That is, the value of group B is greater than the value of group A. Hence, the correct answer to the given question is option 2. Today, we have seen some misconceptions related to integers.